Well, in the midst of controversy over a casino being built on carnival grounds comes a new development. The Department of Labor says during an unannounced inspection of the casino construction site, they discovered foreign workers with, quote, questionable immigration statuses. Construction is the company who was contracted to build the metal structure that would serve as a casino in the upcoming Liberation Day festivities. The Department of Labor's Alien Labor Processing and Certification Division Administrator, Greg Massey, says their inspectors are out on the field daily. We pretty much have a handle on all the new projects that are coming up, you know, from the time that they clear the land to the time that they, they finish. So um, on that particular one, we noticed it was going pretty quickly, so we thought, you know, while the workers are there, get the inspection in. So we uh, did an, uh, an announced inspection on the metal building down at the, uh, on the Paseo that was for the carnival, and uh, at that time we discovered uh, two workers that um, had some kind of questionable you know, immigration status. So we went and checked with immigration and found that these two workers, although they, although they were here legally, they didn't have authorization to work. And while it's not too clear what visas these workers were on, Massey says they are going through processes with U.S. immigration that allows them to stay on Guam while working through appeals. Zhang Wang Construction has a period of time to appeal DOL's findings before being fined. They've actually got 15 days to appeal, um, and then after that time, if they haven't appealed, then um, there's uh, basically a $2,000, uh, it's a thousand per worker uh, sanction fee that they would have to pay. Um, that's pretty much where we're at. Um, it's uh, basically, uh, I'd like to give, uh, you know, on behalf of my director and myself, you know, we want to you know, give kudos to our, our inspectors that are out there actually doing this enforcement activity uh, on a regular basis. Massey adds that the inspections are in compliance with H-2B worker regulations and labor laws. And as of yesterday, the number of H-2B workers in Guam is now down to 129.